Okay, so I've gotten a question about how do we send the clock signal from Ableton Live to main stage to automatically set the tempo. And this is super simple to do with the IAC driver or any other MIDI routing software, uh, but we'll just do the IAC driver um, in this example. So I'm gonna load the, um, let's come down here. I'm going to uh, fire up uh, audio and MIDI setup. And I wanna make sure I'm looking at the uh, show MIDI studio. And you can see here, uh, I don't have my keyboard connected, so that's not lit up. And the IAC driver is also um, disabled. So I can double click this and uh, I can go ahead and add a port. If I don't already have a port, um, let's go ahead and add a port here. I wonder if I can't do that until it's, yeah, there it is, bus one. Turn the device on. As soon as I turn the device on, any, uh, any of your software that needs um, a MIDI port is going to detect this MIDI port and it'll show up in the preferences for that application. So let's say we've already got a bus one and we want to do a clock bus. So add a new bus. It'll be called bus two by default. I can double click it and just give it a name so it's ide easily identifiable. And we'll call it clock and we'll hit apply. Okay, now we can close the IAC driver in the MIDI studio and we can close audio devices. Now, if we go to Ableton Live and you hit command comma, uh, or maybe control comma on a PC. Um, either way, you're going to the preferences. Uh, I'm not in Ableton Live. Let's, there we go, Ableton Live. I can see down here that I have some inputs and outputs now for the IAC driver bus one and clock based on what I've named them. Um, the, the one we're going to pay attention to here is clock. And what we want to do is click the sync button and turn it on. Now it's going to send the synchronization out on this bus um, it's not clear what channel it's not coming across on a channel as i recall it's simply coming through as system data um, as the clock data so it's i don't believe it has a channel essentially I'm not a midi expert but we can close this and you can notice here that our tempo let's set our tempo to uh, 80 in ableton live now we'll go to uh, main stage and in main stage for your concert go to your your root folder for the concert and you'll see this tab here midi and timing this is the tab you want click on timing and you'll notice the custom tempo is set to 120 now that tempo can be changed believe it can be changed per song uh i can't quite remember how that's done uh, but i believe it yeah attributes yeah it can be changed per per song in your sets or overall you can have it controlled at the concert level so you'll click on your concert at the top and then you come down here and you just set your tempo from midi input and you choose the uh well it's already chosen i don't know why it's already chosen but maybe because i had set it up previously uh, but that's how you set the input now if i click play enabled in live i should get and I'm not, I'm not getting the tempo. Why am I not getting the tempo clock AAC driver? That should be updating. Maybe we've got the wrong setting. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's turn off sync and do remote. Does remote do it? No, remote does not do it. So what is going on? What is the problem? What can we troubleshoot here? Maybe when I deleted the IAC bus, it confused main stage. So let's Let's see if we can switch and bus one IAC driver. It pulled it in. Now that's odd. Preferences. IAC driver sync is on. Let's turn sync off for that. We'll leave IAC driver clock sync on. And now it's unavailable. Oh, here it is down at the bottom. It looks like it's duplicated it. So we'll click IAC driver. Now it's lit. Um, and we've got output is sync, and that's correct. That was right the first time around. And now if we change the tempo here to 90 and hit, hello, 90, and hit enter, we go up to main stage and it climbs its way right up to 90, give or take. And it doesn't sync immediately. It takes a few seconds when there's a change, but that is how you uh, use the IAC driver to send the clock signal or the sync signal from Ableton through the IAC bus back into main stage. I hope that helped you out. Leave a comment if so, and have a great day.